Hello guys, it's Picker10 and welcome to your sixth Roblox loot tutorial. Now, in the last tutorial we showed you four loops, or I showed you, not we, there's no one else. I showed you four loops which can be really, really useful. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you if, else, else if statements. Now, uh, you probably, if you've been in scripting helpers for, um, or if you've seen a script, you'd have seen this before. You put if and then a condition, the, s the same kind of conditions as we discussed with the loops, the while loops and repeat loops. If condition, then. And then it does stuff if this is true. So if this is true, so if you put if true, then, whoops, not in capitals. If you put if true, then, this will run. So put if condition, then. This is an if statement. So if 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, then print hi. What do you think will happen? 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so it will print hi. As you can see, print hi. But we can we can change it, so if we put a equals 1, if a is equal to 1, then it will print hi. If you put if a doesn't equal 1, then it won't, because a is 1, and it only, check, and it only works if it's not 1. But and it's like the other ones that we can put if a then this means if a exists a lot of people do if a doesn't equal nil which you don't usually need there's a few cases where you would need it but if a means it checks if a is false or nil if a is not false or nil and if a doesn't equal nil means it doesn't check if it's nil nil is just non-existent basically um, right now else if or just else first. So if a is equal to one, then print high. Else, if it's n this this bit will run. Well, let's put an n first. This will run if it's not equal to one. So if I put print, it's not equal to one. So let's just change that from high because that doesn't take me anything. It's equal to 1. So if a is equal to 1 it will print it's equal to 1 else this is the else um, keyword print it's not equal to 1 so if a is equal to 1 let's see what happens it's equal to 1 if a is anything else but 1 so let's change it to a random number it's not equal to 1 so that's just a very basic, that's just if and else statements. Now I can show you else if statements. So if a is the, is 1, then print is equal to 1. So delete this for now. Else if, this is one word, there's no space in between, it's just one word. Else if means if that isn't true, then it checks for another else if. So else if a equals equals 2, then print it's 2. End. So if a is 1, then it prints is equal to 1. If a is 2, then it prints it's 2. And anything else, it just doesn't do anything. Or, so if you put print high afterwards, it'll print high. It will skip all the. It will skip the loop. It just completely ignores the loop because it's not 1 and it's not 2. So it just goes to the end. It prints high. If a is equal to 2, then it'll print it's 2 and high. So the, it doesn't stop on the if statement, it doesn't um, pause, it doesn't, it just runs straight through the if statement, if it's not, it ignores it. So we can put else if, we can put more than one else if, so put if a is 1, then print is equal to 1, else if a is 2, print 2, else if a is 3, then print it's 3. And we can also, we can put as many as we like, so else if a is 4, then print it's four. Then we can also put an else as well. So else, if it's not one, two, three, or four, why am I keep putting caps on? Else print it's not one, two, three, or four. Of four, whatever. And then just delete that because it's pointless. It will print it's two. And if it's not equal to 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's not 1, 2, 3, or 4. Now that's a basic guide to if statements. 
yeah, they are called if statements, and else if and else keywords. But the I'm just how much time have I got? I've this is I've been really quick. I've been speaking really quickly. Hopefully, you I haven't been speaking too quickly. If you didn't understand, just watch it again. It's quite simple. And it's probably if A is one, then print that. Else if A is equal to else print. It's quite simple to understand, but because I still have time left, I'm going to show you another way. Another way you could do this. So let's do, let's just comment this out in case you're copying it down still. So ignore these if you're still copying it down. These these are block comments. So let's put let's just yeah. A is equals five. If we wanted to do this, we wouldn't do all of that because it's quite inefficient. We could do print it's equal to and then with our concatenation operator which is a two dots we could put a print it's equal to a and a is it says it's equal to five because a is five so that's a way of doing it and hopefully you understood the tutorial I haven't been speaking too quickly it's quite simple to understand in the next tutorial we'll be covering built-in functions, some of the common built-in functions um, uh, is there anything else I need to say? no there isn't, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial